What's up, everybody? Gotta put my seatbelt on. I usually don't wear my seatbelt. Oh, thugs don't wear seatbelts. Gangsters don't wear seatbelts. <laughs> Yo, I was thinking like, um, like I always say, people think the radio and the TV and the media, the newspaper, is their mother and father. They believe everything they say in the media, especially when it comes from a celebrity. And the funny thing about celebrities, like I said, you rarely ever see celebrities at these award shows. Oh, she riding a motorcycle. You rarely see these celebrities at award shows with gray hair. They always got jet black gray hair and a perfect hair on. Always. Let me turn my AC on. But anyway, back to what I was saying is they always use celebrities as the spokesman because people believe them. And people believe the media. Chris Rock made a joke about the media one day saying... That it's just the media that creates the hype about black people. And a lot of times the media be lying. And the media do be lying, man. He made a joke about it. Like, remember, whenever you talk to the newspaper, whenever you talk to the media, they get the last word. They get the last word. Whenever you talk to the media. You believe everything they read in the paper. But the thing about, like, Hollywood... No matter how big of a Hollywood celebrity you are, you could be replaced. I don't care how big of a celebrity you are, you can be replaced. Even like, even that even goes with the football teams and stuff like that. You can be replaced. No matter how good you are, you can be replaced. They may look at you for a little while, but after a while, they're going to get tired of your shit and you could be replaced. Or if you're not going along with their agenda, you can be replaced. And it's such a kiss-ass environment, man. You got to kiss ass all, your whole life living out there because you could be replaced, especially when you under the under the under under the thumb of some big Hollywood producer with, with these the millionaires out there. Because all they got to do, that's what they said in The Godfather. We can we got some people on the press. We can put out we can put out bad words about the cop. You know, in the Godfather, when when they, they said we got some news people, we got some people in the media, we can put, we, you know, they could put out bad, they could tell their side of the story. Basically, that's what they were saying. Because people believe what they read in the newspaper, they believe that shit. So if you believe like all Africans are dying of AIDS and they drinking out of mud, muddy, dirty water, people are gonna believe that. People believe everything they see on TV. They believe in they believe everything they see. They think the TV is their mother. That's why people that's why you got the FC, you know, the FCC or whatever it is. And they have, they have to control what people say. Because people believe the media, man. People believe that shit. So if you believe black people, all black people like to eat chicken and watermelon, sell drugs, then people don't believe that. That's what they're saying to me. I don't know how I got to this point, but I was just saying. You believe everything they see and read, paper. Especially that's why, like, like I was saying, you wouldn't allow a stranger to walk into your children and start talking to them. No, right? But why do you leave them in front of the TV? You don't need. You don't know those people on TV. You don't know them people. All these people out here, all these Americans out here, most of them believe everything they read, hear, and see on TV. All these people out here. Give all that shit. Yup. I forgot what I was talking about. Who I was talking Oh, I was just talking about, oh. And I was always talking about how rappers, black people are the only race of people that use the N-word to describe each other. But we get mad when other people use it. But you got to understand, they use the N-word in rap music. And there are a lot of people that like rap music. So if a, if, a, if a Mexican, Puerto Rican, white guy, Irish guy, Italian guy, they like that music, they're going to sing along to the lyrics and they're going to use the N-word because that's the N -word, they're using the N-word in the music. And that's the big one of the biggest ways to indoctrinate the people. So these record producers know that, but they don't care. Because they want to make money. So they tell you. So if you're an artist and you don't want to use the N-word, they're going to convince you to use the N-word. 
because they want to make money and they don't like you. And if they like you, they wouldn't tell you to do it. Them record producers, them big record producers be telling them guys, use the N-word, use the N-word. I like, there's, there's this girl I like. She used the word every, every, five, and she's even singing. She even be singing it. All these R&B singers, they singing the N-word. You gonna tell me that's not, that's not a conspiracy? That's a conspiracy. Because they know it. Because most of them, most of the record companies are owned by, they're owned by you know who. Probably the same people that own TikTok. They're owned by a big religious group, white religious group. And they don't care. They want to make money. They want to make money and they don't like black people. They tell these rappers, you can use the N word. It sounds it makes it it makes it more thuggish. It makes it come on man, you can't be a gangster rapper and don't use the N word. I bet you that's what they be saying. I bet you that guy from Harlem. Cause he said in all his music. The young that he don't make he makes music. He's not the rapper. He's in the background. He's not from Harlem. He's from Mount Vernon. He's safe. Alright, y'all, I gotta go.